Let me uh, uh, move off of politicians momentarily. I'm going to play you a, a couple of simple examples um, to illustrate the point. Um, this, is, this is what we call a, a, a lead reversal. It appears in conversation before, uh, before the topic is discussed forwards. This is an Australian Aboriginal talking about how he found a whole extended family. Okay, listen carefully. This is a thick Aussie accent. See if you can hear this one. Yeah, I have an older sister. Exactly right. The skeptics will tell you, you're only hearing these because I'm telling you to hear them. But this is about the tenth reverse I've played so far where I've asked you to hear them and you're all here hearing them. When we do classes, we will run the tapes backwards in front of all the students and the students will hear the same reversal at the same time. You know, it's like, wow. So this is not all torto suggestion. These are phrases that actually exist. The brain can be seen responding to the reversals. So he says, I have an older sister, and look what he talks about next. He says there's something affected with it. Yeah, I was just talked to different ones about because I was sort of trying to take a fist. One of my sisters. So you found out that you had sisters and brothers. Yeah, I knew all along I had one sister. So what's the odds of that? Saying I have an older sister backwards and then saying forwards I've got a sister. Okay? He doesn't say older sister, but we assume that it is. Um, and uh, here we have uh, another uh, one from a casual conversation. Oops, okay, here we go. Let's this is just one of many, many lifetimes where we are here to develop the soul, basically. Um, and when that is achieved, the soul will ascend. Okay, listen carefully. What's he saying? I love each day. I love each day. Yeah, I love each day. And this is what he says next. Oops, hang on, I've got very few room for mouse here. It's a different way to the, the normal person sort of thing. Uh, to look at life differently and in trying to enjoy each day. No, he says it backwards, and let's run the whole lot backwards. Once again, a pause, melodic sing-song tone. Then a pause after the gibberish. Very consistent. Gen reversals will sound like this. They have that classic melodic sing-song tone. Once every 15 or 20 seconds of speech, as that often, they're occurring constantly throughout speech. Oh, here's a funny one. This is a guy I was going to do business with. So we would negotiate that with anchor point when we go over there. Yeah. Yes, I agree with you. I agree. That way, if we can pay the sole rights to the book, yeah. it counts for us. Now, are anchor point always going to be publishing the book? This is one of uh, my right-hand man, Jeff's favourite reversals. I'm so full of shit. <laughs> not a man you want to do business with. Not a man you want to do business with, okay? Ever gone in a business deal or venture and wanted to know whether it's going to work or not? Reverse speech will tell you. It will tap into the unconscious. It will tell you whether the business will be a success, whether it will be a failure. It will tell you what the pitfalls are. Um, I, ha I have, uh, actually, I'm surprising I don't have more corporate clients, but I have, you know, I have about a half a dozen corporate clients who will contact me for uh, reverse analysis on their latest business decision or move they're going to make. So, um, and that's certainly one I don't want to do business with. And, uh, oh, here's another funny one. This is, uh, this is an example of a future tense reverse. We're going to talk about that more as the lecture continues. What did you say? Future tense. 